Good afternoon, everyone. We just finished Kadesh. The second step is Urhatz. Urhatz means to wash. We're washing our hands. The reason we're washing our hands is not because we're going to eat matzah now. We're not. Matzah is much later and there's going to be a different washing for the matzah. The reason we're washing our hands now is because there's a halacha that says anytime I dip food into one of seven liquids, I need to wash my hands just like I would for bread. So for example, one of the seven liquids is milk. If I'm ever going to dip something in milk, I would need to wash my hands beforehand. One of the seven is mayim. Whenever I dip something in mayim as well, I would need to wash my hands beforehand. So the next thing we're going to do is karpas, which is dipping celery in water. Therefore, I'm dipping in water. It's one of the seven liquids. I would need to wash my hands beforehand the same way I wash for bread. The only difference is that here, we don't say a beracha of al netilat yadayim. So step number two, urhatz, excuse me, is to wash our hands, the same for bread. One, two, three. One, two, three. No beracha. If by mistake I said baruch amonai, and then I right away remembered, I can quickly say two words, lamedeni hukecha. And now that's okay because I just said a pasuk in Tehillim. There's a pasuk in Tehillim that is baruch amonai, lamedeni hukecha. So if I say lamedeni hukecha, I just saved myself. It's like I read that pasuk and I'm fine. But if I already said baruch amonai, elokeinu melech haolam, so um, I would finish off al netilat yadaim, and it's okay because there are some opinions that hold to say a blessing. Even though we hold not to, one can rely on those opinions if they already said the blessing, it's fine. And when they get later on to Ruhza, to the second washing by the Masa, they can still say a blessing then because the odds are that they did not keep their minds on their hands the entire time to make sure that their hands stayed entirely pure. So that is the second step of Urhatz, again, to wash our hands without a Beracha, the same way we would wash for bread. Have a great day.